All right, guys, I'm working on this mini split today. I'm getting a P6 code. Um, so my my compressor isn't running. So I'm going to have to where did I go to over there. I'm going to check the compressor to see if it's bad. Ask off the phone with tech support. They sent me some uh, some videos to to watch to be able to troubleshoot the compressor. Figure out how to get this thing off in here. I hate messing with these things. You gotta wait so long for it, the boards to discharge. And... Okay, so there's my compressor right here. We are going to ohm it out. It is a three phase compressor, so all of the windings should them out the same a little picture over there I can say that the compressor doesn't look the best. All right, so we're gonna go right here. Point eight ohms. Point seven ohms. 0.8 ohm, so we are 0 0.8, 0 0.8, uh -huh. 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. So our ohms are good. And now I have got to check the voltage going to it. That's where this little troubleshooting video is going to come in handy that you sent me. Let me watch this real quick and see what I can figure out. Okay, so that video didn't help me at all. Um, my compressor owned out fine. I believe once the compressor comes on though, I'll, or should be coming on, I'll check between U, V, and W and see what my voltages are. I believe. AC motor. Always get a little bit jumpy on these because the last time I tried to check anything, I had the crap shocked out of me. And uh, I don't want to get shocked again. I didn't like it. it. Didn't feel good. I mean, I know our compressor doesn't appear to be in the best shape. So. Just waiting for it to ramp back up. But according to this, let me 
me see. Let me find that again. UVW connect to compressor voltage among phases. 0 to 200 volts AC. So, I should be able to check it on that once it comes on. First, let's find spot. Okay, so you can't get to any of that. So, let's see here. Volts, 20 volts, 20 volts, maybe. <sighs> they would be more clear. Input pin CN12 compressor temp, condenser temp, compressor crankcase heater, connection of high voltage. Ninety-five percent sure. Pressure is bad, but I need to be a hundred and ten percent sure. Okay, so we got a contactor here. <clears throat> I'm going to take some pictures just in case. Because you never know. It appears that this one has already been changed at some point or another. So we're going to pull this off here. Go ahead and put that there. Hello. Hey. Hey. Uh, Dennis called from the Harley shop. Yeah. And uh, of course they're not in on Monday, but I told him you just need to be on the roof. What did you have to do to fix that? I don't remember what you said you had to do. I got to get a belt for it, and I have to uh, pull all the burners out and clean them. Yeah. Okay. So I'll let you know. 
Alrighty. Alright. Alright. Bye. So that was in horrible shape that that end there, so we'll go ahead and put a new one on it. Tight connection. We're gonna pull this one off. This one is just as bad. So we'll go ahead and do the same with it. Right here, and then we got one more wire in the back here. Put it right there. So now we should be able to take it out here what the hell of a screw they put in there <clears throat> all right so yeah one on the bottom here Maybe that easy to pull off. Should give me some kind of resistance. I'm probably going to have to cut them and restrip them because I don't see these coming out. Yeah, they're not going to budge. So, let's not do that. Let's, uh, just for shits and giggles, let's take an ohm reading on it. So, but this one, I mean, look at that one. It's in really bad shape. No good. 
this other one I think is fine. Just there's a little discoloration up here though. Everything else doesn't look as bad. Now I gotta strip this wire. Strip bigger dude wire it just seems to uh, to work the best for me. I see a lot of people take their knife and like shave it off. This is the way that I found that it works the best for me. Get a nice clean cut all the way around it. It doesn't disturb any of the, the strands either, so. Probably should be. Probably should be. That's what that you want to be. Yeah. Put yeah. that on your thing for the RD. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Alright, so Ferguson's is R. Michaels was our distributor for uh, American Standard and Ferguson's when they're dropping R. A. Michaels Ferguson's is taking over now so the whole reason we left the other Ferguson's up here that sells train is because we weren't happy with them and now they're taking over or they're going to American Standard so now we're right back with them again so, I want to have a little talk with them, I guess, and let them know what we expect and what we're not going to tolerate. R. Michaels has been great. They have been awesome. And, uh, so now... We got two Ferguson's within 20 minutes of each other. One does train, the other's gonna do American Standard. What sucks is they never have what you need. Ari Michaels could either have, if they didn't have it, they could have it like the next day. really sucks. Okay. Alright, so 
So we got all that taken care of. These are nice and tight in there. I'll just make sure these are tight even though they're not anything screwed in them. Okay. I'm just going to double check this one. bad. Alright. Okay, so we'll get a thermostat and put on for this lady and again and we'll take some temperatures. Check all that out. If I can get her find our thermostat. Something 
Custom Make helps us motivate our students to custom care. We love how Custom Make takes care of everything we need, so we can focus on the kids. Custom Make has hundreds of products to help you save money. Upload your photo and start your design today at Custom Make. Alright, got the thermostat on and programmed. I'm going to put these back in. It should be it should be good to go. get the flame sensor out I guess. Got the zip tie. Oh. I'm going to have to take that burner out to be able to see it.
good. I'm just soaking up all that stuff. It just. Nice. So I had to take the burner out. So there's that. back in. Yeah. So if you look at this burner, <clears throat> I mean I could put it in like this or like this, but I want it to go this way because the crossover is right there and it ends right here. <clears throat> There. Let's go there. 